Hi, Box Modders. So this is uh, kind of an add-on to uh, the mod meter video that I made. Uh, a couple of technical things that I didn't get into that I that I really wanted to get into, and uh, for for good reason. Um, first is another uh, potential improvement that uh, that I think would would be fantastic. Um, okay, so no atomizer on. First off, uh, reading 9.9 .9 ohms uh, resistance. No one runs a 9 ohm uh, atomizer. Uh, and I'm sure there'll be someone on YouTube to say, oh, bro, I run a 9 ohm atomizer all day, blah, 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 the 4S DAW, it's totally awesome. However, uh, or you are a fag, um, all caps, U, uh, capital U, capital R, capital A, capital fag. Um, however, uh, no one runs a 9 ohm atomizer, so why not just uh, have a message there that says, uh, um, in a or you know open or whatever just indicate that there's no atomizer and so that it doesn't calculate uh, a wattage and a, a current based on that uh, no no need no need for that so um, maybe think about that okay uh, the big thing I really want to talk about though is voltage accuracy and precision uh, because I, I dug into this a little bit and I, I don't I don't like what it does um, First off, uh, one thing that I can I can live with, but I think it needs to be tweaked, is it has a, a buffer of about 0.08 plus or minus um, <clears throat> before the voltage display changes. So right now I don't have an atomizer on it, but it's in it's basically in uh, firing configuration. The, the MOSFET is turned on. And it, uh, if I had an atomizer on it, it would be firing. And that's why the display's on, that's why it's calculated all this stuff. Um, because if I pull it off, it'll go to zero. Okay, so. Um, uh, that buffer, so if I change the voltage, and uh, it's at 7.20 right now, and I change the voltage, even though the, the fluke says 7.24. We'll talk about that in a minute. I change the voltage. There, 7.12, and I can do it again. You know, it's obviously not 7.12. Okay, 0.08, and it goes the same way in the other direction. So that's to stabilize the, uh, the display so that it's not jumpy, but fuck, man. Uh, I think it could be a little narrower, maybe 0.05 or even 0.03. I think 0.08 is a little too wide, and I think it um, gives the image of uh, inaccuracy, uh, which is, well, it does. It, it absolutely gives the impression of inaccuracy. Um, <clears throat> and, and I want to talk about the... Uh, accuracy versus precision now um, if you're if you're gonna read into the hundredths you you have to be accurate to the hundredths uh, within a reasonable margin and if you're going to have uh, eight hundredths out of ten <laughs> uh, that, that you that you fudge because you're stabilizing the display then you are not accurate to hundredths ever not even slightly and we can see that. Um, I can I can undo it. Wait for it, and I can plug it back in. Seven oh two. I can undo it. God damn it! This is what I get for being fucking lazy. Um, Seven oh six. Can I do it? Seven oh six. Hey, we got two in a row, the same. Look at that. Uh, but none of them, and it, and it's kind of settling on seven oh seven oh one seven oh nine. So look, now it's above. Um, it, it does. It's not accurate. Uh, the hundredths. So the hundredths place it doesn't mean anything. Uh, here's what you do. Here, here's how you fix that. And this, this is not on Rick. This is on the the people who actually like coded coded this thing uh, based on his input. Um, so just understand, I'm not I'm not criticizing uh, Rick Grove at all for this. Uh, here's what you do. You make a buffer of uh, 0.05 and uh, internally, so plus or minus 0.05, you change. And uh, 
or or not. But that that would be my consideration. And then you don't show a hundredths place, um, or if <laughs> or if you do, um, no, don't even show a hundredths place. And uh, and then it just rounds up uh, or rounds down. So it's either so this is seven point one. And if it showed, uh, if it read 7.04, it would just show uh, 7.0, and uh, and leave it at that. Um, uh, now I know that people like to see more precision, and they like to see more decimal places because they think that's a a better uh, meter. But if it if the information is meaningless, it's not better. Uh, it's actually worse. Uh, so. Because going on false information is worse than going on no information. Um, so uh, I really that's that would be my fix for that. Uh, I it, it's uh, do, do you make a meter that's that's true to itself, or do you make a meter that that's going to possibly get more bros to to buy it? Um, and that's not I don't think that's really a debate in Rick's mind. Uh, but in the vaping industry, uh, I, I think there are a lot of people who would. Who would go for the uh, the the flash instead of the uh, the true value? Um, anyway, enough ranting. Yeah, uh, that's all I got on this. Um, it, that's my solution. Uh, it, it works though. I mean, the thing works. We're talking about hundredths of a volt. Not really a, a deal breaker. Um, so yeah, 